on the mat. I'll, I'll take it from here. Oh, you take no, it you away, take man. It from here. No, you take it away. Uh, welcome to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll be Mad Dog. This is Mr. Merrill. We got Fast Freddy on the keyboards. We are at the George W. Brown Jr. Ojibwa Museum and Cultural Center. And uh, we're going to have a great time today. Happy holidays, folks. Great holiday meal coming your way right after this. Oh, yes. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix, and ProFire Grills, Cherry Delight, Native American Tourism of Wisconsin, Awesome Shrimp and Seafood, Healthy Homegrown Wisconsin Potatoes, No Name Butcher Quality Meats, Sun Drop Soda, The Oneida Nation, Glorious Malone Fine Sausage, Henning's Award-Winning Cheese, Golden Home Ultra Thin Pizza Crusts, and by Lashbro Aerial Images. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. How many went to Grandma and Grandpa's house during the holiday season? Wasn't it always a tradition? Yeah, it was a tradition. That's where I first met Merrill, by That's the way. Right. My first cousin by marriage at the yes. Paul household for yes. holiday season. There was Benjamin Franklin sitting in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Sipping on some eggnog. Yeah. <laughs> some spiked eggnog, and there was Merrill. That was yeah, Merrill. Yeah, yeah. All by myself <laughs> with the eggnog bowl right yeah. beside me. That was yeah, it. And, uh, Didn't know anybody, but I had a good time. Yeah. <laughs> well into 30 plus years uh, later, here's Mad Dog yeah. and Merrill. Here's Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Uh, we'd like to invite you to go. This, this is a holiday show. Uh, yes. Part one, if you didn't miss it, if you missed it last week, go online at maddogandmerrill.com. Maddogandmerrill.com. We always air our shows online there. You can take a little gander if you'd like to, if you would, please. Uh, but this is the, the part two of our holiday show. Now, and we also invite you to natow.org, N A T O W.org. Uh, and we're going to do a little indigenous cooking. I've got some beautiful catfish in front of me. Meryl's going to be doing some nice little hot apple cider. Right, yeah. Yeah, and we got some other great things that you might want to do for the holidays, or maybe you have your own traditions. That's what it's all about. But this is our holiday tradition. Beautiful cultural center. That's beautiful. It yeah. goes by the seasons. Yeah. It goes by the seasons here. It does, and you can go from each one. And, and spring, it's just... spring, summer, fall, and winter around the corner. And on the outside ring are all the different beautiful cultural oh, things like boy. hunting and fishing and, 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 and the, just the, 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 the longhouse situations and, and community uh, communities and stuff like that of the uh, Native Americans of Wisconsin. Yeah. It's great. Uh, That's just unbelievable here yeah. with, the, with the pictures and the history. I mean, so, I mean, so much history here. Yeah. It's just... Uh, that's well, the largest that. collection of totems I've ever seen. Did you realize It really that? is, isn't it? I went from each one of these different displays, and each time you turn around, they've got another there's totem. Someone, there's something or someone looking at you in that totem pole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to do a Good little luck. catfish. All right, I love catfish, I, I love man. catfish, too. We got a, 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 this is a, the spring scene here. Uh, there's a beautiful cast iron uh, kettle right there, and that's for the maple syrup. Uh, so this is the maple shack right here, if you will. Uh, and... and uh, uh, Sugar bush. Yep. Thank you. you uh, so we're gonna take our, we're gonna take our catfish fillets, and I'm gonna dip those in a little bit of milk. So we'll do two at a time here. We're gonna dip those in a little bit of milk. I probably should have a, a glove or two on here, but that's just life. It's too late now. Uh, so we have uh, we have cornmeal and we have flour. Now, if we wanted to go one step further, that's yellow corn. Uh, this is a beautiful uh, Native American white corn. Uh, it, it's a staple for a lot of the communities. So that's white corn. So we'll add it to our, our yellow corn there. So we have the white, the yellow, the flour. And we're gonna mix that together uh, to make our little base there. Oh, isn't that good therapy? It is. <laughs> uh, we're gonna add a little bit of our citrus tw twist, citrus, citrus twist. <laughs> <laughs> and, and on top of there, and I'm gonna add a little bit of sage in there. Let's see if we can't get out of that package. Yes. There we go. Very, very potent. Very earthly. Very important. Do some nice little time. Mm. We've always got a little time. <laughs> always got a little time. Uh, catfish we, is one of those fish that a lot of people never tried. I just, I just love it. I really, really do. What's that? Catfish. Oh, catfish is wonderful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this is farm raised. I, 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 we used to do a lot of ice fishing. Do you ever do ice fishing, Freddie? No, but I've seen a lot of people. You've seen a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough for Freddie. Man, you get around. Well, we, uh, we, we had a group of guys. We would, uh, we'd actually come up to this neck of the woods and, and a little bit further north in Wisconsin, and, and we were the ones that didn't have that gas auger. Yeah, I know. We spent, we spent half oh, the day doing this through man. about 12 inches of ice, and let me tell you, it was a work of art. No. We were a work of art <laughs> yeah. at the time. Uh, we're going to have a nice, beautiful yeah. cast iron skillet okay. here. 
and I'm gonna take just a drizzling of oil because we're not gonna fry these, but we're gonna pan fry them. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil just so we have a coating of oil on the bottom. Not that I didn't already season that pan, it is seasoned with oil. And we're just gonna do a little dredging like I did when I <laughs> said I had to meet Freddie and Merrill. There you go. And those are just beautiful nice coated. Nice coat there, sir. Yeah, those are gonna be great. Wow. These are the coat nice. of many colors too. We got yellow, we got orange. And oh <laughs> boy, this team would pan fry those things. Oh, I know, just to pan fry them. Oh. Freddie, Freddie, Freddie's not a, a lover of, uh, you like fish. Yeah, I do. Yeah. But I'm not a fisherman. You're not a fisherman. No, and you asked about ice fishing. I came to realization I don't need to ice fish because Cass said that's what we drink at home. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> you know, my brother-in-law asked me, you know, you know, how come we don't go fishing? Why do you think we went fishing all the time? That's because we wanted to drink. That's all what it was. Uh, so we're going to take our, our beautiful catfish. We're going to put this on the MH pre grill outside, and we'll show you that in a minute or two. It's going to be good. On just a low heat underneath. And I'm going I'm to brown them up for about four, five, eight, ten minutes on both sides. doesn't take very long for fish on the grill. Don't overcook the fish, that's for sure. You know, everybody has different traditions, you know, but uh, there's nothing like warm apple cider. I love it. You know, I mean, and there's so many <laughs> different ways that you can make it. Definitely cheated today, that's for sure, because this is all store-bought. Yep. But uh, anyway, we're going to do But they used to like press their own apples. They got apple presses, man. They made their that's own right. cider like you wouldn't believe. But we're going to make this, and we're going to heat this up, too, which will be really, 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 really good. But that's just Not like that. Freddie's ice fishing his apple <laughs> cider. <laughs> you can buy it at the store. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Of course, you can add different things. So the apple cider would be besides the, the mint that I'm adding here, too, if you'd like to. But we're going to add some tea in here. Some nice cold brewed tea. That's a good idea. That gives it a really nice different flavor. Yep. But something that doesn't come out there where it ends up being really sweet at all. Flavoring today, which I really like, is mint. You know, plenty of mint is very, very important. Okay, we're going to place that in there. I just love it. Placing the whole thing of mint. Yep, why not, right? We got some cinnamon sticks. Snap them. Ooh, ooh. You made my muscles today. <laughs> That's the cinnamon of your knuckles. <laughs> That's my knees, man. Okay, nutmeg, fresh nutmeg is very good. You could grate it if you want to. You could put it in a hole. I'm just placing that in a hole. You're letting, I'm going to place that. Should we do a little honey in there? Oh, gosh, I forgot the honey. Yeah, honey. Just to sweeten that baby. Yeah, up, gosh darn, it's a good thing. I could smell it already. Can't you yeah, know? that fresh mint is nice. phenomenal. Cover that up. Set that on the stove or on top of your... Uh, a wood fire out there, just let it simmer. Well, matter of fact, it's if you'd like, for 40 to 45 minutes. And it's just yeah. delicious. While we, we, while, we, while we mull this over, you mull over these commercials, and we'll be right back. Sounds like a plan to me. Thank you, Mr. Freddy Beyer. Welcome to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. <laughs> Natal.org, and don't forget to visit all 11 tribes. That's your goal this coming year. This winter, when you have nothing else to do and you're with your family and friends, go in and do some winter sports. That's what it's all about. Uh, the casinos are, are pretty much all open, so you can visit them and spend a little bit of money. You can go to the different stores within the reservations and stuff. You can come to the cultural centers. There's a lot of great things to do in the wintertime uh, throughout the whole state of Wisconsin. Please do so. Yeah, definitely check it out. Well, you know what? When one of the main well, trapping, beautiful trapping. If you come to the, like the cultural center here, sure. Uh, I got a good friend of ours, Welcome, down the road, does yeah. a lot of trapping, and and he and he loves doing it. And there's different. Uh, he sells the pelts and he uses the pelts and he sells the, the uses the meat. I'm assuming, uh, but a lot of great way to do trapping here. The beautiful hollowed out canoes, the the the, the bark canoes, birch bark, birch bark. <laughs> And, and for the folks up north and over to the uh, to the uh, to the the east uh, by the big lakes, by the big ponds, by the freshwater uh, lakes, uh, they have beautiful salmon. That's what we're going to be doing right now. Is a nice slab of salmon. Uh, salmon is the most forgiven of the fish. It's got those great omegas in there, so you can overcook it a tad bit, and it still comes out delicious. Uh, we're going to we're going to take our salmon fillet, and it's got the skin on it, so that it protects it from the heat of protects the meat from the heat. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a knife. And, and, and I'll see if I can show it this way here. And all we're gonna do is work between the, the skin and the meat, and we're gonna make ourselves a nice little pocket. Now you can stuff this with anything you want. You can make a crab stuffing if you want. I've done that, I've made bread stuffings. We made a wild rice stuffing, yeah. I think, last yeah. year that turned out just absolutely delicious. I was over at Turtle Lake. That was. Yeah, it was absolutely it was delicious. Was delicious. Uh, so you have a nice little pocket in there. 
a nice pocket in there you can do just about anything uh, we're going to put the herb of remembrance in there we're going to put a little rosemary so we remember all those who passed uh, so that during the holiday season and a little fresh parsley so this gets taken out at the end it's just for a little bit of flavor so we're just kind of packing some nice fresh herbs in there so you can see where you could have add just about anything in there you got one little piece of <laughs> bone there we don't need <laughs> Uh, why don't you grab me my oil that. over there, would you please? What did you need? The oil. The oil it is, sir. There you be. Can you take the cap off? Oh, I can take the cap off too. Can you take a little drink and tell me it's <laughs> no, spring, sorry, spring sorry. tonic? <laughs> <laughs> I got to ride home with him. Be a lot of stops all along the way. Put the cap on. Okay. Okay. So we have the oil on there to seal it up. We're going to add a little bit of uh, Grandma Hazel's in there. You can add your own season if you want to, but you can go to Grandma Hazel's. You can go online at maddogandmerrill.com and find out about that. And now you, now you want to sweeten things up a little bit with salmon because it really does go well. So I'm going to drizzle a little honey over the top of that. This goes directly on the grates of the grill, a nice medium direct heat for about 15 minutes or so. Then you can maybe turn the heat off underneath it and just leave the other side on or both outside yeah. side. You know, do it indirect at the end if you want to. You can try flipping it if you want to, but that's up to you. Uh, we're going to add a little pack of little brown sugar over the top. Wow. Now here's where it becomes interesting. <laughs> These are bacon bits because you can do just about anything. Salmon's a very hearty fish. And I'm going to add some walnut pieces over the top and let those bake right on top. So I'm not going to flip this one. I'm oh. just going to grill it just the way it's at. And I'm going to seal it in. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like a... I'm no, a, that'll be really good. I really I'm like, a drywaller. I like the idea where you got the herbs for, for the pocket on there. I mean, for I flavor. Can picture how that's going to taste out with all that in, the, in there. I can do it. I hope it's good. <laughs> so that's going to go on the MHP grill, but with every good uh, piece of slab of salmon or fish uh, for the meal, you need a great salad. Yeah, need a great salad. A nice, healthy salad, you know? We've got some wild rice here. We've got some currants and we've got some walnuts. Uh, wild rice, uh, I'll tell you, it's, it's, it's mm. unbelievable for the flavor on there. And with all the. Uh, for, the Ojibwa all here, the, it's, yeah. for the Ojibwa here, it's. Monona. That's right. Correct, Freddie? Monoman. Monoman. Thank you very you much got for it, the correction. You got it. So anyway, <laughs> we'll get started here. Uh, I've got some currants. I've got some walnuts. I'll let you slide those in there. Oh, yeah. Sure, sure. The dried currants. Yeah. With the uh, wild rice. Yeah. With the walnuts. I'll start making a little bit of the, the dressing here, which will be really good. Oh, sure. <laughs> get a bread tie out of this. No, no. I don't need that. You want some fresh milk? I want, yes, I do want some, please. Put that in there. Obviously, there again, something all natural. You got the maple syrup. That's a really nice flavor to it. Uh, you really want the flavor. You don't want to really overdo it with the maple syrup. I'm not mm, going boy, to. Boy, that mint smells delicious. Man. Uh, good choice. You could even smell. Oh, man. Does that ever smell good? I know. Mmm. I wish my Aunt Julep were here. <laughs> boy, I do, too. <laughs> you bring any vodka with you, Freddie boy? <laughs> no, that's all left Bourbon. behind. Yeah. Okay, some Dijon <laughs> mustard. A lot of things with mustard, like Dijon mustard on there. We got ourselves Did a you put oil, oil in there yet? Yeah, a little bit of oil. Pretty nice. You, you took the cap oil, off oil. for you. You took the cap off for him. <laughs> that's very. That's, that's teamwork. Yeah, it really that's is. That's brotherhood. That's yep, brotherhood, that's Freddie. Freddie. Here's a little bit of black pepper word. in here. Our garlic black pepper was really good. Like the flavor, we're gonna shake that up. We're gonna mix that, stir that around. You know what? We're filming during the the uh, the, the the COVID right now, and it's probably still COVID when this is uh, because of the pandemic. Uh, but we just want to remind you folks to be safe, wear masks. When we're, when we're off the scene here and walking around, we put our masks on. Uh, we have them off now. Uh, Meryl and I both uh, took our temperatures earlier today. Freddie took his Freddy. temperature and so did the, uh, Mr. Rod uh, Kolosh over here. Uh, and it seems like we're all safe. And, and, uh, and uh, let's hope that stays true for everybody. Yes. Hi, we're speaking to Emerson Coy, Director of Planning for Lac de Flambeau. Now, Emerson, you have a wonderful community. Tell us about what are some of these restrictions for us to visit. Thank you, Meryl. Like most tourism destinations, we too have some, there's restrictions in place, of course. Uh, you have to wear a mask. Tell us about the beautiful Lake of the Torches Resort and Casino. That's where we stayed at last night. The Lake of the Torches Resort Casino has been open for business and, and they want to serve their customers well. The machines are spaced out. Emerson, your local museum and cultural center just absolutely amazing. Well, they're current, it's currently open to the public. And, and what are some of the restrictions that exist? We are very proud of our museum and culture center. It is open with some restrictions because you do have to wear a mask and special distance. We allow five people in the museum at a time, but you can walk around, see the exhibits, 
interact of the exhibits and put yourself back in time. We'll be right back with more on Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Fast Freddy on the keyboards, Mr. Merrill, I'll be Mad Dog, and it's a holiday show to beat all holiday shows. And uh, we're having a great time here today. Don't forget to go to natow.org. And, and we were just chatting outside with some of the, 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 the folks from up here at, the, at, um, at Lac de Flambeau. And, we, and I'd like to say a special hello to Emerson uh, from the village here, from the tribe, and also Diane, who's the rep for Natal. And of course, uh, uh, our host, Teresa, in the background to open up the beautiful center here, the cultural center in Lac de Flambeau, and it's great. It's a Great beautiful place. cultural center. And a many thanks to well, the, the holiday show, uh, to our good friend Wes, Ron, and Wendy, yeah. and the gang at KBLY in Fargo, North Carolina. Yeah, thank salut. you. And for all you folks throughout the 35 states and 110 different markets who watch us and throughout the United States and on the web, anywhere in the world, <laughs> we appreciate it. Yes, we do. Well, you know, we, we did a whole summer season in Hawaiian short sleeve shirts outside in all the weather. Right. Here today, we're inside. <laughs> we're in flannel. We're in flannel. <laughs> I'm warm as can be. Uh, I know. I understand, hey, Freddie. Yeah, I understand. I Something's wrong with this picture here. <laughs> hey, man. can I tell you something that's right? I, I can guarantee you this will be one of the best slabs of salmon you'll ever have. Yeah. Oh, I agree. I the, agree. The, the honey that's on there, the maple syrup on there, the walnuts on there, the bacon that's on there, and, and the beautiful protein underneath there is phenomenal, and it yeah. was done. It took a little bit longer. It took probably about 25 minutes or so, and I didn't turn it, so it was a nice warm heat underneath, but it didn't damage the fish at all. No, but I'll tell you what, the herbs that are underneath there, I think that's a great idea. Yep, don't forget about that nice, beautiful pocket of herbs in there. I'm not going to show you that, yeah. but what I want to show you... Uh, these gorgeous little catfish, they turned out just wonderful uh, pan fried in there. And I flipped them over and I could have taken them off probably about five minutes earlier, but we're hustling around here. Uh, this happens to be Merrill's beautiful salad. Yeah, boy, I sort of took a little couple bites of that. With, the, with great, the mint man. and the wild rice. Oh, that's delicious. That wonderful. Uh, uh, a stuffed squash for you folks that want to know how to do stuffed squash. Uh, here's the way I do it. I'll, if I can do it with this. What I do is I. Oh, I know. That's the way it works, old friend. <laughs> What I'm doing is cutting myself a flat surface so you don't go, ooh, when, when something else bad happens. A swing in a row. Oh, oh. I'd hate to cut myself and all what you hear was this oop. Uh, so you take the squash. I always cut a flat surface there, and I take a good parry knife, and you just hammer her down and skirt it around, and then you take a, a, a spoon. And uh, uh, I threw the seeds out to the squirrels, and they loved it, by the Do way. Do you really? Yeah, they ate them. What the heck? Like yeah. a baby pumpkin. <laughs> no, they're squirrels. <laughs> Jeez, Fred, they're squirrels, not baby pumpkins. This is like a baby pumpkin, isn't it? Yeah. No, this one is a, the, the butternut. That's a heartier squash. We kind of overcooked that baby there, but it, uh, it done up nice. We got it on the grills outside for quite a while. Uh, but there you have a nice hollow little pocket right there. And because we're doing things that are more indigenous uh, and from the earth, and that's what uh, uh, the Native Americans of Wisconsin, that's what NATO is all about, and that's one of their programs this year is to make sure that we get out and about and enjoy their culture. Sure. And when you go to natal.org, uh, you're going to learn about these good folks here at Lac de Flambeau, uh, Emerson and Diane and them who have all the, all the great events throughout the summer and, 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 and places that you can head to for your entertainment, whether it's pulling slot machines, whether it's going to the powwows, whether it's going to a dog ra uh, sled races or something like that in the wintertime, or just enjoying the ice fishing yep. and everything else that we talked about. But here's the squash right here. Simple little recipe. I'm going to take some wild rice and toss a little wild rice in there. We'll do some nice little walnut pieces in there. And of course, the red currants go inside of there. I'm going to do a little bit of honey. Good old honey. And just an addition oh. of, ma of maple syrup in the center. And that gets wrapped up in aluminum foil is the best way to do it. I did it indirect on the grill for, uh, all it has to be done is about 35 or 40 minutes indirect or pop it in your oven at 350 in a, in a foil. Right. Uh, this, these babies been on for a little bit longer <laughs> than that. But I like well, my squash done. Well, it is. <laughs> oh, well, you can make some patties. Oh, hey, hey, babies. speaking, look at that, look at that, look at that. All right, I here we go. All your, right, your, now your, we're talking. Your cider. There, look at this baby. Man, oh man, I forgot look about your this cider. Baby. Oh, you can smell the fresh herbs in there. It's warm, man. Yeah. It's hot. It's hot. I bet it is. That's the best china in the world, so don't there crack it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Freddy? Nothing but the best. Let's all get a little glass and toast everybody for the holiday, yeah. shall we? 
I would have liked this when I was a skating guard. Remember that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> were you a skating guard? Is that when you and Buddy Holly were friends <laughs> together? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Yeah, my pleasure, Fred. <laughs> I could see you as so, a skinny So guard. whatever your tradition is for the holidays, that's what you do, and pass those traditions on. Uh, that's what the Native Americans have been doing in Wisconsin and, and throughout the whole United States for uh, the indigenous. Uh, they, they like to pass the traditions on. Happy holidays, Pro. Happy we'll holidays, right everybody. <laughs> hey. Happy holidays, folks. We'll see you down the road. Happy holidays, everybody. Ride. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications.